Hi, today I'm going to demo making a flush rivet, or I like to sometimes call it a hidden rivet. So it will be totally flush with the surface, and depending on if you use the same metal as the base of what you're riveting, it can totally be hidden and you won't even know. Let's get started. I've got two different sizes of wire that I'm going to flush set today, so let's figure out what the drill bit size is that we need. Get our gauge for drill bits. I'm going to take the center punch and put two divots here for each rivet that we're going to make and that gives me a little well for the drill bit to find. That way it doesn't skip across as I'm starting to drill. We want to be able to countersink, so we want to take this conical shaped burr, or even a larger round than what we drilled, and come in and create this. That way when we put the wire into it and hammer, it's going to fill up this space. And then we can sand and finish and that rivet won't come out because it's flared out into this cone shape. So here's the just the drilled hole that we're starting with and we'll take the cone burr and you could put it in the flex shaft It'd be a little bit quicker actually let's do that but you can just hand turn it so like the drill bit we're going to put a little bit of lubricant onto the burr And you can see that we've created a little space or cavity for the wire rivet to mushroom out into and to fill. To cut my wire, I'm only going to leave about a millimeter on each side showing. So very tiny bit of wire. Got my piece of brass wire. I'm just going to set that over. And I'm slowly just going around the outer edge with the round part of my hammer to start this mushroom. And it's already enough that it's not going to fall out now. So we'll just do it a few times. because now we want to flip it over to the other side and start. You want to just keep flipping your piece back and forth. right here and we're just mushrooming that wire over and it's filling in that shape.
I'm going to file it a little bit. And you can hand file it or use your hand piece. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So you've got flush rivet and if you use the same metal as the piece that you're working on you've almost got what I like to call a hidden rivet. You can see the copper rivet but you can just barely make out the brass rivet that we did. If I had gotten that mushroomed over just a little bit more, that little space would have filled in. I'll put some patina over this so you can really see as well. That kind of helps pop that copper patina up so you can, copper rivet up so you can see it a little bit more. And then how well the brass rivet blends in. have a very early project that's a good example here. It was before I had a torch in my home studio. So there's some hidden rivets, flush rivets here in the heart that actually hold this back piece that's the bale on there. It's really hard to make out but there's two rivets and that's what holds the bale and the heart on here. It looks like it's soldered but it's not. It's totally rivets.